Hey everyone, thanks for uh, tuning in today. We're going to be hiking out from South Meadow Lane to the Mount Van Hovenberg Trail in the Adirondack High Peaks. Um, should be about maybe five miles or so. Uh, Mount Van Ho is approximately 3,000 feet and it should be a very cool climb. So stick around. All right, so you might be able to tell it's pretty windy and it's definitely snowing out today. Visibility is probably not gonna be too great on top, but uh, we're still gonna do it anyway, because it's great to get out um, and kind of enjoy the weather. So uh, we're gonna sign in here and we're gonna keep on going. So the first mile of the Van Ho Trail is pretty flat and we're walking out to a swampy area which we'll then kind of take a left from and then start the climb up the actual mountain. Mount Van Ho is an interesting piece of Adirondack history because on the other side of it there are bobsled tracks, uh, some skiing facilities, things like that that were built for the Olympics. Uh, that were held here um, 1980. So it's a little piece of history here in our backyard. It's pretty cool. Look how cool this place is. Looks like a barren wasteland ravaged by some sort of war or natural disaster. So the swamp marks about the halfway point. Um, so I decided to take my pack off, get a drink, maybe rest for a few moments before we start the second half of the trip, which is climbing up the mountain. You'll notice that I am solo today, which I'm perfectly fine with. I actually enjoy being by myself out in the woods, so uh, it should be an interesting day, but it's important to pay attention to your body, your surroundings, your environment, and everything like that. I have my inReach device in case something happens. I can actually reach out to my wife, the rangers, anybody who cares, and be okay. So. Uh, Break's almost over, gonna get another drink of water and then start the rest of the climb up. So I've gotten to that point in uh, every Woods Walker's career where you realize it's probably time to turn back. I had talked to some folks in the trailhead parking lot who were just doing Van Ho and coming back when I got here and they had indicated that uh, once you started to climb up the mountain, the trail markers kind of stopped and they, uh, they had to turn around because they had lost the trail. Uh, I didn't want to admit it to myself, but I do have lost the trail. And I've been bushwhacking for about 20 minutes, um, making my way up the mountain. However, the wind is picking up, the snow is picking up, and being by myself, 
the smart choice, the best choice, is to head back down to the car and come back some other day. Uh, the mountain's not going anywhere. Um, so, that being said, turning around is never defeat. It's an opportunity to uh, get out again and see something new. So, stick around and uh, we'll head back to the car. Here we are at the junction to Mount Van Hovenberg. Um, it's still early, there's sun in the sky and gas in the tank, so we're gonna turn these lemons into lemonade and head about two miles that way to Marcy Dam. Stick around. So it looked like my mileage was off a little bit and it's about two miles to the dam so we're gonna come down this way and get onto this trail right here and go to the lodge instead and then road walk back my car's right there so a uh, little shorter but definitely worth the walk um, that way we can make sure we're out of here in the light beginning to feel a little bit like a snowman so that's definitely going to be the way we go back home should be a fun adventure let's go see what happens So we're on our way back to the lodge. The uh, Adirondack Superhighway doesn't disappoint in the winter time. It's all packed down, which is huge. Makes my life uh, a lot easier. Um, groin, groin muscles are pulled a little bit, feet are hurting a little bit, so it'll be nice to get back to the lodge, warm up a little bit, and then walk back to the car. Um, it's been a pretty great adventure so far, so uh, we're gonna finish out strong and maybe even grab a drink at the lodge. So yeah, I, I kind of do look like a snowman a little bit. <laughs> well, we're at the uh, High Peaks Information Center and uh, I just got the snowshoes off, got the pack you know, fixed up so that I can do the road walk back to the car. Uh, I'm gonna hop in here for a few minutes, get warmed up, um, maybe get a drink and uh, just hang out because I don't have any deadlines. It's it's a free day, so I um, had a great hike today. I'm really excited about being out here. Um, going alone was totally awesome. Uh, left me a lot of time to think to myself and you know be in my own head. So um, thank you for watching, and I hope you tune in next week for another great video. Um, and always remember to try and do something awesome every single day. Till next time.